moving on to reviews now. I've got a lot of reviews this week, which is in stark contrast to last week when I had no reviews. Because I've got so much reviews, I haven't got a big topic this week. So let's get straight into it with Preacher Season 3. So Preacher is a probably one of the weirdest shows on TV. And I could describe what happens in Preacher to someone who's not familiar with it, who's never even seen or heard of it, and you'd probably think I was joking. There's so much weird stuff going on, it's very odd, very quirky, it mixes in drama with comedy, and honestly, when it does the drama, it gets a little boring. When it does the comedy and the action, it's great. And Season 2, I thought, was an improvement over Season 1, because Season 2, the characters had a clear goal and an objective, and... The only problem with season 2 really was that it was too long and it dragged a little. So they've cut down the episodes from 13 to 10 again and the problem now is that this season is a lot more like season 1. The characters, I honestly don't even know what the show's about anymore. I don't know what the characters are trying to do, I don't know what they're trying to achieve. And these characters are really interesting and likeable, but this first half of the season they spend so much time just arguing and hating each other and being separate from each other that it, it's kind of lost its charm a bit. It does however improve again in the second half to the point where you get some of the best episodes this show's ever done. So yeah, on the whole season 3 is a little disappointing but it is better as it goes on and yeah, hopefully they can course correct again in season 4 if there is going to be a season 4 and they can just nail down the comedy and the action, focus a bit more on that and less on the drama, which just isn't that interesting. Hopefully they can actually get a clear-cut story in there as well because it's all feeling a little disjointed and disconnected because the characters are all doing their own thing. you got Preacher, Dominic Cooper doing one thing over here with characters who just aren't that interesting at all in the location that's just bland and boring. Then halfway through the season you've got Cassidy going off doing his own storyline which is a bit more interesting but it feels like it should belong in true blood rather than in this show it feels out of place then you've got Tulip who feels really underutilized this season she's just kind of there bridging the gap between both sides and doing that own thing at the same time and bizarrely the most interesting part of this season was a storyline featuring the cowboy Adolf Hitler yeah Adolf Hitler's in this show and a guy whose face has been blown off. And why is that so bizarre? Not because of the characters involved in it, but because they only appear in like three or four episodes of the whole season, and they're kind of glorified cameos. Well, in season one and two, they feel really tacked on at times, and they didn't really fit into the show much. This season, it still does kind of feel like that, but they've taken over, they've now got them what I think is the best storyline going on. It's certainly the one which has the most comedy and the most action in there. So yeah, hopefully that's something we can... Hopefully they can keep doing that in season four and they can have all the characters together doing something that actually makes sense and with a clear-cut goal. 